Hey Damo, a question I get asked a lot is regarding annual and Italian ryegrass sowing rates. In your opinion, what's the optimal sowing rate? Oh okay, look this is always a loaded question because whenever a seed company suggests that we increase the seeding rate, it gets viewed with a lot of scepticism. But for annual Italian ryegrasses, there's a good body of evidence to suggest that seeding rates of 30, 35 and even 40 kilos provides a good amount of extra feed in the winter. Research that we've done in our latest annual ryegrass trial where we compared 20 kilograms to 30 kilograms actually allowed us to produce an extra two and a half tonnes across the season without any penalty. And of that two and a half tonnes, one tonne came in the winter. So really, really valuable winter feed. Wow, yeah, that's a pretty important time of year for feed too. So if you're going to sort of quantify the yield that you get across the seasons, how would you do that? Okay, so let's use the example that we talked about before we grew two and a half extra tonne across the season by increasing the seeding rate. Let's say that extra tonne of dry matter that we grew in winter is worth $270 a tonne. Okay, $270 a tonne is taking you an extra $60 of seed to produce that extra feed and if we utilise 80% of that we're looking at an advantage from increasing the seed sowing rate alone of about $480 a hectare so a fantastic result and don't forget that one tonne of that dry matter came in winter which is really important feed and probably worth a lot more than $270 a tonne. Yeah that's a fantastic result for not very much extra money at all. No small outlay big reward. Big finish. Would you consider raising the, the sowing rate of a diploid up to the same level as a tetraploid? Of course, the diploids have a, a smaller seed size. Oh, absolutely correct, Emma. absolutely correct. Traditional diploid sowing rate's about 20 kilos, uh, tetraploids 25 to 30 kilos. So you could increase the tetraploid sowing rate 35, 40 kilos, but the, the diploid sowing rate, I'd probably go up to the 30 kilogram mark and stop it there. So would you recommend the, the highest seeding rate for all situations? No, not necessarily for all situations, Emma. You need to pick your paddocks, and those particular paddocks can't be limited by moisture, and don't forget to replace what you graze with fertiliser. So in a nutshell, consider how much feed you've got going into the winter and decide whether it's worthwhile using a higher sowing rate for your situation. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's a tool to definitely consider for some fast winter feed. Brilliant. Thanks. No worries. Always happy to help, Emma. Grow with confidence. Insist on the yellow bag. Barrenbrug. Our seeds available at all quality outlets.